everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. Today I have a flip through of a traveler's notebook to share with you. So let's get started. This one I am just calling Fawn in the Woods because of this amazing piece of vintage textile fabric. This is from a vintage like 70s um, curtain panel and it is like all sorts of little patches that share, it, it depicts different like children's fairy tale stories. So I really love this. I love the colors. They're so bright and fun. So anyhow, let's get into this journal. So what um, this journal is, is just a small traveler's notebook. It is um, bound with a five hole um, pamphlet stitch and there are eyelets punched in the front and back cover. The cover is um, collaged. It has been backed with fabric to strengthen the spine so that you can stuff this full if you need to. Um, on the front there's a collaged pocket. Everything has been stitched around and it is closed with vintage seam binding. So we will just get this out of the way here. Um, so this journal, this pocket is stuffed with this really fun um, tag. It has a cuckoo clock here. I made this as part of my house tag series a while ago in a, in a video that I did. It's got these little like shingles kind of and rickrack and flowers and sequins at the bottom and some fun like gold netting on the door and some lace and stitching. This is like one of my favorite tags. It's so hard to give it up. <laughs> you just get attached to these little paper projects that you make. So Anyhow, that just tucks right in the front here. And then I'll show you the back as well. So it's just collaged. The whole back front um, inside and out is collaged and sealed. Let me just tighten the ribbons on the side here, the vintage seam binding. Okay, and then we open it up and um, you'll see there is a collage tab pocket on the inside cover and there's more collaging under here. And then this is just um, a collaged large journal card that I made from vintage kids books and botanicals and a stamp. And so that is for writing on. And then the first page is um, a little pocket made from um, a vintage image of like a, a hairstyles um, book, like the kind of book you could go into like a salon or a barbershop and you could choose the haircut that you wanted from the book. So this is this lovely girl. It's a 70s book. So forgive the hairstyle. Um, <laughs> I actually think it's so charming. I love these books. Um, this is ledger paper. And inside is um, a journaling tag made from a Kate Greenaway image and some music and collaging with some nice lace on top and it's packaging paper at the back and it's been all stitched around. And then this is a Kate Greenaway fussy cut image and some paper um, collage. Uh, this is a Richard Scary book page um, that has a little um, fabric tab at the bottom. So these notebooks are really amazing for journaling in, of course, and you could also, um, you know, glue down pictures or brochures, whatever you like. They're, they're really wonderful to use if you're going on a little trip um, or if you're not, maybe for a little project that you're doing, like maybe you're doing some kind of an inspired like collage every week or something like that. You could keep that in this book. Um, this is avocado dyed paper with um, some vintage fabrics and lace and buttons collaged at the bottom. You can see a button here and um, this is a pocket made from an old image of women kind of like frolicking in a garden. <laughs> and you'll see some botanicals at the back um, on some paper that's just been glued down. And here we have a vintage textile journal card slash little mini pocket. It has like a little tad pocket there. And inside is a collaged image of a blue jay. And so that just tucks in there. And the whole thing just tucks up here. And this is a landscape painting, some washi tape. And it's a long book page. So the inside is a map and then that landscape tucks up and we have some washi tape there. And it's a pocket that holds this. Um, this is from a vintage field guide, birds of the shore, birds in winter. And then on this side, we have tea dyed 
scrap of paper and clipped to it is um, for my my slightly older viewers who would be familiar with this, it is a vintage um, CB radio ID card. So for those of us old enough to know about these, my dad had one when I was a kid. Um, and, and today, like truck drivers still use them and people who are like really into ham radio and like old technology, they're not completely gone. And they're awesome, actually. It's like talking on an open channel. Um, so these are from the 70s. And basically everybody who used them would, well, not everybody, but most people would adopt some kind of a nickname. So because you're talking on a public channel, you might not want to specifically identify who you are but like you would make friends that way almost like the pre-chat room kind of situation party line <laughs> and so this is like a calling card and uh, you could pass it out at like you know truck stops or CB radio events um, this is more ledger paper and then we have a little fabric collage at the bottom and this is um, a large jumbo playing card pocket and inside, this is just an index from a children's book. And it's been all inked up and I've added like vintage paper to the back just for journaling. Ledger paper. And then this is actually a pocket made from this lily pad paper. Um, so you actually can open it up and pop things right in here. See, it's open. Then um, this is an upper tuck collage pocket with some red lace at the bottom and a journal tag inside that is um, collaged. Let's pop that up there. And some stenciling here on this brown paper. And then this is some coffee dyed paper with a fabric tab at the top. Very grungy, fun coffee dyed paper. Um, and this is a coloring book page. This is a gardener's glossary page. This is scrapbook paper. And on the back we have this tip out with a fabric tab on top, these beautiful flowers. And then um, this is a pocket that's been collaged and has this handmade um, stamped money card and um, a little, this is a little deer on this stamp. And underneath this little tab, we have a, um, a German flower card. And in the pocket is a tag made from just this fun, this is a vintage advertising book that I made these from, and it has a nice uh, starched cotton and um, um, fabric tab at the top. So I call these books kind of my odd socks books, meaning that they don't have a specific theme. They just have a lot of fun pages in them. They have a lot of fun ephemera in them as well, but they're not overstuffed because the intention is that like you can add your own things here too. Um, this is map paper. And on this side we have um, a fabric or sorry, a, a lace pocket. And inside is um, a paint sample and then just this little um, kind of grungy like luggage tag scrapbook paper fold out. And that just tucks on in here. Oops, that doesn't want to be on the top. This wants to be on the top. <laughs> there we go. And then this is from a children's book page. And this is the center of the journal, just this amazing, this is from Mary Had a Little Lamb, and it's just this beautiful black work image. And we've added a tab with an eyelid up top and uh, this fun um, trim. And on this side we have more of the map paper, and this is a journal tag that's paper clipped on. It's made from um, beautiful handmade Korean paper and um, children's book images and it has a tab at the top. So just pop that on here. And on this side we have some, um, this is like advertising paper that's scrapbook paper. It has old advertisements on it and a fabric pocket here with another envelope pocket in here. It has like book page collage and some frog stamps. And inside is this vintage advertising Punch and Judy um, journal card. And on top in the fabric pocket is another vintage advertising kind of Art Nouveau feeling card or Art Deco rather. <laughs> Sorry. 
my brain. Um, and then this is more of the um, scrapbook paper. This is a fabric and vintage button collage at the top of a gardener's glossary and it's a tip out. This side we have um, coloring book paper and uh, this is a large journal card that I made with these hilarious cow. I love this cow so much um, and it just um, it just paper clips on. The back of this is bingo dauber and um, coffee dye paper coloring book page, coffee dyed page with this fun, um, this is a, like a fabric and lace uh, ruffle. And at the top we have a bulb pin um, with this star with these lovely little gems in it. And it's from a piece of vintage jewelry. And on this side we have a vintage playing card and um, an image smack down at the back here with these, this is like um, vintage women in a garden and then this is from a vintage um cookbook and i love the uh the drawings and the handwriting so this is for hawaiian ham and ham steak with apples and that book is such a treasure it's like so nice to be able to use it and this is just some brown paper that's the other side of that pocket so again you can stick something in here and on this side we have a little crocheted flower and on the back a vintage little brown button. This is a ledger paper with a fabric and lace tab at the side. This is tea dyed scrapbook paper with um, buttons and fabric collage and it's a tip out and some washi on the back. And then this is a book page pocket with um, a tab uh, or sorry a tag inside made from more botanical painting. Another landscape photo and then this is um, a lace pocket this lovely purple lace on this avocado paper and butterflies on this journal tag and then this is kind of a fun pocket where it was a flip out but I stitched the pocket at the back and purposely left this down to kind of be like a little spot you could tuck something and then this is um, a Richard Scary tip out page and on this page is more ledger paper and we have this large journaling card that's paper clipped on. It has these beautiful birds. It says great explorers, just like a little bird. And then this is all um, threads from Sari Silk and it's all been stitched down. The back is collaged with different um, plant dyed papers and that just paper clips right on the page. And we have a collage pocket at the back here with these two pigeons. And inside is just a little tag that's been made from numerical like tab divider paper. And on the back we have this pocket. It says after all this time and it's got fish and it's just a really fun little collage. And there's more collaging at the back. And we have um, this is a large journal card made from children's book page with this big goat um, wearing these clothes. It's very anthropomorphic and jelly print in the background and cabbage dyed paper on back. So that is this journal. So if you are seeing this video, it means that this journal, uh, this notebook, as well as two others will be up in my Etsy shop, um, probably by the time that you see this video. So all of my social media information is down below. I can tell you quickly how to close this journal. It's very easy. So first you just get your two, um, your two ribbons, which have been sealed at the end, so they won't fray. Just get them kind of somewhat even. And then you just crisscross so the ribbon at the back your front goes to the back and vice versa just give it a little tug and wrap it around wrap them opposite and then they just come around like this and they tie in a bow and everything gets trapped inside there so you can make this as stuffed as you like and nothing will be going anywhere <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me and um once again, check down below for the information on these journals and my shop, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.